a mastering guide ebook called the one hour mastering workshop and a full plugin bundle all for free the guys at home studio mastering contacted me to make you aware of it let's take a look at them Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixbus TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Promix Academy, special discounts and offers on plugin, and of course, links to this one hour mastering workshop ebook and the plugin bundle from Home Studio Mastering. Let's take a look at both. So the site is called homestudiomastering.com. They sent me their plugin bundle. It's five plugins, which we are gonna test in a minute, and also their free book called The One Hour Mastering Workshop. Because everything is free, I thought I could make a video, make you guys aware of it. If you wanna grab them and try them, they are completely 100% free. So the plugins, let's take a look. It's Noise Lab uh, LE plugin bundle. I don't even know if they have a paid version of either the plugin or the book. I think they have one is called Home Studio Mastering, but we're gonna talk about the free stuff, the, the, the stuff that they sent me. So the plugin bundle sees a mono, monomizer, they call it, an equalizer, a compressor, a combo, a reverb, and a limiter. We're gonna test uh, all of these in a minute. The ebook, I have it open here. It starts by showing you the plugins and index, and of course, introduction. It goes into detail of uh, each plugin, what they are, if you're not familiar with them. And then let's see, prepare your mastering session. Talks about sample rate quickly and bit depth, headroom, as far as I can tell. And then uh, it goes into the use of every plugin, which we are not gonna read because we are actually going to test the plugins. So monoizer, equalizer, it gives you different suggestions on how to use them, of course. This is a simple bundle for beginners, of course. The plugins look very simple. Uh, they put a convolver uh, a reverb in this mastering bundle. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use a reverb, but um, they actually say it here, determine if your track actually benefit from using the convolver, which is probably going to be 0.01% of the time, if if anything, but it's a, it's a free reverb nonetheless. So we're going to try these things on single tracks as well. Again, everything is free. So without further ado, limiter is step number five. Without further ado, let's open Pro Tools and let's try these. We'll start with the compressor. They are super simple, as you can see. Uh, these are probably presets for attack and release and ratio, and you have the threshold, the big knob on the right. So glue, balance, punch, impact, just, just play with it. Yeah, you know what, it's not bad. The glue settings actually seems to glue things together. It's fairly transparent, it's not bad. It has a saturation of a soft, medium and hard. Let's try this. Fairly transparent. Uh, I want to try this quickly on drums because it seems like from medium on it, it, it kind of shaves transient. Anyway, let's put the saturation at zero and let's try balance. All right, at the same threshold, it, it, the gain reduction is a lot more already. So let's back it off and let's stay within zero and three dB to compare. Punch. Kind of 
kind of a bouncy um, release. The balance is probably the one, it looks so far, the one with the fastest attack. Impact. Yeah, it's not bad. It's fairly transparent. There's no, unless you engage saturation, it's seriously one knob plugin. I like the glue. It's pretty nice. It's free. Why not? You can use it on groups. It doesn't necessarily mean to be used for mastering, even though it is marketed as a mastering bundle. All right, let's try the saturation on drum. Let's go to the next one, which is the Convolver. I'll keep it on drums because, like I said, I wouldn't put reverb on your master. Uh, maybe synths, maybe some groups, but let's hear how it sounds. It's a bit mid forwardy. I would probably put it on a on a sand and uh, and use it that way and EQ it. But just because they do uh, suggest that is a somewhat a mastering um, processor. Again, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. But just to just for shits and giggle, let's try it on on that electronic track. It's kind of funny because reverb on the master or your entire mix is one of the few no-nos. But it's kind of funny because when you try it for a split second, you almost think about it as a possibility. Let's try the second, the third one actually, Noise Lab Equalizer. This is a simple equalizer. I'm not going to uh, spend much time on this. It's stereo mid-side. You can select the types of bell, HPF, LPF, peak. It's a digital equalizer. It's nice and simple and clean. Let's go to the other one where we have the mono, the monomizer, they call it. All right, so um, you know what I think about monoizing in your, your two bus, your stereo bus, you shouldn't have uh, low end content in the sub area anyway to begin with when you, when you finish your mix. But uh, especially in electronic music and when use of a lot of synths, and if you're not, an experienced mix engineer, it happens that you have content. Um, usually I would say it's a safe bet to monoize if you do have content in the low um, range, in the sub range from 40 and below. But yeah, this, if you have that problem, this is a, this is a simple monoizer. Um, so it monos all the frequencies under a cert, under your corner frequency that you set here. And also you can set the other one just in case you, you want to monoize a portion of it. Um, I would keep it at 20, the bottom one for sure. And the interesting thing is it has uh, different shapes, linear, S-curve, and exponential. 
That's cool. That's the first time I see it. Yeah, not much difference to the ear in this case because I don't have side information down there, but it's definitely a cool plugin. And again, it's free, so why not? But let's try the maximizer limiter LE. All right, let's see how it performs. This is as straight as it gets. You lower the threshold, you have three settings, fast, medium, and slow, transient, soft, medium, and hard. I suppose this is a transient enhancer like ozone, for example. So let's just try it. All right, um, I'm, I'm compressing actually quite a bit. I'm 12 dB and it's not distorting. Uh, you can clearly hear the different settings. Medium is the more balanced, slow. It gets very pumpy with this song, which I actually actually don't dislike. And fast is the fast. You can see the, the hi-hats coming up. Let's try this transient. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a transient um, enhancer before hitting the limiter, I guess, which is a good technique to use. I wonder if I have another track where I can try this. All right, let me try to compensate. And let's say we want to, I'm going to smash 13 dB. I want to see how far I can take it. I'm trying to match the tallest peak without ballpark where the limited version peaks. So the peak would be the same just to just to have a better reference because if I you can hear it if I um, compensate all the way. It's actually lower in level because I'm obviously <laughs> limiting way too much. But you know what? I don't want to drag it too long. It's a nice bundle. It's completely free. Five plugins. Super easy to use. Super intuitive. You get the book free with it. So why not? You can download it right now. Link is going to be in the info box down below. Check all the other offers and links in there as well. And if you want to become a Mixbus TV member and access to exclusive content or just take a look at what's about, click the join button down here. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like. Follow Mixbus TV on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.